My name is Gary Bruin, and I'm the mayor of the town of Windermere. And thank you for joining us. So, a couple of questions. Why did your family choose Windermere as the home? We came here about 30 some, 33 I guess now, years ago, and uh, had some friends that lived in Windermere and visited one day, and over the course of the years, my wife always said that she wanted to live in Windermere. Uh, what, drawn us, what drew us here really was, uh, it was so quiet, so peaceful, as you can imagine, 30 years ago. Back then we were completely surrounded by orange groves and yet we were really very easily accessible to get to the turnpike, to get to the uh, interstate. So although we were close to everything, we still felt we were far behind. And quite frankly, another reason was we knew that they had a very strong police department and we have always felt safe in Windermere. So that was one of the things that actually drew us and, and my wife to, to live here in Windermere. So what is the biggest change you've seen in Windermere since you've arrived? Oh my goodness, like I said, we used to be surrounded by orange groves, and if you take a look at now, all that we're surrounded by is development, because obviously we got the back-to-back -back freezes. In the 80s, that wiped out almost all the citrus. Uh, the citrus tower doesn't even have citrus surrounding it these days. And uh, so the biggest change really has got to be how everywhere around us has changed. Windermere, everybody says Windermere's changed, but really the town of Windermere hasn't changed that much. When I lived here, there was actually a gas station downtown, and some of the same small business buildings were here. So Windermere as a town hasn't really changed that much, but surrounding us has completely changed when you say Horizons West. Like I said, between the freezes and then citrus canker coming in, uh, all the groves were destroyed, and it just all became development. So what did you do for fun when you first arrived in Windermere? A lot of people probably won't even remember, and I was actually just over in Metro West this afternoon. And I remember we used to go for a ride, which was in the country, and it really was. I mean, it's hard to imagine the area now around here is in the country. But quite frankly, 30 years ago to go to Windermere was considered going out into the boondocks, actually. Uh, Conway Windermere Road was just a two-lane road that was coming through. Kirkman Road was just a two-lane road. Uh, so getting into the country was barely going where Metro West is right now. And I can remember there must have been hundreds of thousands of trees. And when we would drive, we would roll, roll the window down. And you could just smell orange blossoms in the spring. And it was, a, it was overwhelming. It was just absolutely overwhelming to kind of take and drive through all these back roads through the groves because it truly was country-like. So tell us about a little bit about your time as mayor and how it has changed over your tenure. Well, obviously, with all the growth around us, we've, you know, we've had a lot more challenges. We've had, uh, I've been mayor for 11 years. Uh, when I first came here, we had stop signs downtown and the traffic was just absolutely horrendous. Some would say it still is, but try to imagine a town of Windermere with all these stop signs and no roundabouts. I think that made a tremendous difference in traffic flow. Uh, in addition to that, I'm, there's a bunch more organizations. As I've been mayor over the years, I've had more responsibility put on um, for being on the board of directors of the Florida League of Mayors. I also chair all the Orange County Council of Mayors. So all the Orange County mayors meet and I'm the chairperson. So that kind of puts the burden of calling the meetings and, and getting our getting our statements and getting all of our uh, issues that's representative either to Orange County or even the state legislature. I also serve actively with the Florida League of Cities in addition to the Florida League of Mayors. So over the course of years, there's been just a tremendous amount of more responsibility. And I think a lot of that has to do also with uh, with us being more, us being the town of Windermere, more actively engaged with our fellow neighboring cities, the Coe's Winter Gardens, uh, Oakland's, uh, more of a regional partnership as a, as a West Orange community, as opposed to the Windermere or Winter Garden or Coe. So I think over the years, there's been a tremendous amount of more work having to be done. So what are your two favorite places in Windermere? I like to come downtown. I think 
the 9-11 memorial, which is right behind us. You can't see it on the video. But I think that is just a, a really nice, tranquil place. And uh, every once in a while, I'll get emails or people on Facebook will contact me and say they didn't know this existed. And it was just a very nice setting. And if you've ever visited, it's right outside our library. So I think, you know, coming downtown, uh, Windermere is just a nice place to visit. It's, uh, you know, tranquil. You can have ice cream. And it's, the people say it's a lot like Mayberry. And, you know, I guess sometimes that's not bad. So I think that's one of the things. And I do like to enjoy, I, I do like visiting Winter Garden. I do enjoy visiting Mount Dora. Uh, just last week I went to Winter Park. So there's a lot of great attractions in Central Florida, but Windermere is probably the best. Of course I am biased. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the one place you wish was still around that isn't here any longer, and why? Well, I think if you've ever gone down McGuire Road, when, this is funny because we were actually talking about this, a couple of uh, us older Windermere people and West Orange people, but where the public sits on McGuire Drive, or McGuire Road, used to be a little airport. And you could actually go down there, and there was all kinds of people that would they would fly their little private planes and ultralights. So it was not uncommon to see ultralights going ahead over all the time. And it was just kind of fun that you could actually drive down there. Now imagine, talk about being in the country. There was no shopping centers there. Belmere was not there. There was, McGuire was just this little two-lane road again. And there was a little dirt airport where ultralights would fly. And you'd see them on weekends especially flying overhead. So that has that completely changed, obviously. But that, that, a lot of people don't even remember that there was a little airport over there. So I, I kind of miss that. I thought that was kind of kind of neat to, neat to go and see. And I have to even remember my mom. My mom was probably, oh gosh, my mom was probably in her 50s. And she had stopped to visit us one day, and she'd stopped in the house and said, oh, you'll never guess what I did. I stopped by and was watching the guys fly these little ultralights, and he asked me if I wanted a ride, and she went up. And I'm like, Mom, are you kidding me? But she did it. She thought it was just wonderful. So you, you don't see that often. Another thing that was, too, living here, I remember, and there used to be so many hot air balloons uh, in the 80s probably right up into the 90s, and I, I don't know really what happened. I think a lot of it may have had to do with insurance or liability, but it was not uncommon to see five, ten hot air balloons, especially on weekends. And uh, I had a chance to talk to Joe Kittinger, who used to be Rosie O'Grady's Flying Circus, and he used to have competitions. And I remember when I was living, before I lived in Windermere, I only lived five miles up the road, and they would have balloon competitions. And I can remember they came down on our main street. All the balloons were coming down. I thought it was kind of scary, but at the same time, it was a picture that, unlike any other, seeing all these hot air balloons. So those are kind of things you kind of miss. So if you would, if you could give us a six-word memoir of your life in Windermere, what would it be? I came, I saw, I stayed. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.